Wake up. It's time to kickstart your day with Scripture Link's Daily Dose of Inspiration. Daily Dose of Inspiration. Good morning and welcome to this brand new day. This is Scripture Link's Daily Dose of Inspiration for Thursday, November the 9th. 2017. And as you wake up and you start this brand new day, thank God for this day. Commit this day to Him. Use this day to bring glory and honor to our Lord and use this day to share your faith with someone and encourage somebody. And while you're at it today, give God praise because He is worthy of our praise. He is worthy of our worship. He is worthy of our thanksgiving. Our scripture reading today is taken from the book of 2 Timothy chapter 1 and verses 15 15 through 18, Scripture says, This thou knowest, that they all which were which are in Asia be turned away from me, of whom Phygelus and Hermogenes. The Lord give mercy unto the house of Onesiphorus, for he oft refreshed me, and was not ashamed of my chain. But when he was in Rome, he sought me out very diligently, and found me. The Lord grant unto him, that he may find mercy, the mercy of the Lord in that day, and in how many things he ministered unto me at Ephesus, thou knowest very well. Friends, I got a question to, to ask this morning as we start this new day. Are you a help or are you a hinder to the ministry of the church, to the ministry of the Lord? Are you a help or are you a hinder? If you go back into the book of Acts, chapter 19, we could read where Paul was ministering in Ephesus. And Ephesus was one of the churches, the seven churches. Um, it, was in the, it was in Asia, and Paul was ministering in that church. He was ministering, spreading the gospel of Jesus Christ. And some people started confronting him and started talking bad about the, the, what Paul's message and tried to shoot it down, among who... Two people are listed here in verse 15 of of 2 Timothy chapter 1. And this is the only spot that they're called out by name. And that is Phygelus and Hermogenes. These men tried to stomp it out. Tried to put away the ministry. Tried to, to, to put doubt in people's minds about the ministry of Paul. But then we read down into the next verse, verse 16, and we read about somebody else. He said, "The Lord gave mercy, or the Lord gave give mercy unto the house of Onesiphorus, for he hath oft refreshed me, and was not ashamed of my chain." Remember, when Paul was writing to Timothy here, he was in prison; he was in a Roman prison, and and he he's talking about a man named Onesiphorus. Now, if you've read other letters of Paul, you know that in Philemon he's talking about a man named Onesiphorus and Onesimus, and that's two different people here we're referring to. Onesiphorus was somebody who came and refreshed Paul. In fact, in verse 17 he says, but when he was in Rome, that's where Paul was, one of the places Paul was imprisoned, he sought me out very diligently and found me. That man's mission was to go and to help Paul, to minister to Paul, to to refresh the Apostle Paul. Because if you think of it this way, if you go out and you try to do something for the Lord, if you go out and you witness to somebody and the person rejects your message, you feel a little bit down. Paul was in prison because of his, his message. When he was out doing his missionary journeys, Paul was shot down by these guys Phygelius and Hermogenes they opposed his message but then came Onesiphorus to refresh him and Paul's asking for a special blessing upon him what's that got to do with us today this is what it has to do with us are we a help to the ministry because let's face it not all of us are called to go out and to preach the gospel making your perfect three-point sermon with your your stories and everything else in there. But all of us are called to do something. On my way to the nursing home, every Sunday, I pass by two or three churches that are right in a row, going down the road to the nursing home. And at those churches every Sunday, I see people out there sweeping the porch of the church or picking up trash out of the parking lot 
or just straightening things up in general. They're a help to the ministry. What about for your pastor? Are you a help for your pastor? Or are you a hindrance for your pastor? Think about those things as you go through this day. And remember, get into God's Word and allow God's Word to get into you. Then share that Word with someone today. Have a blessed day. Mm